There are really two major categories of widely used standby power systems, generators and UPS. I'm only addressing generators in this course. So, what's a generator? The generators in this course are a type of rotating machine, which, by design, generate electricity when rotated at a certain speed by some type of motor or engine. The generator portion of this system is generally a very robust, reliable device, which, when operating, puts out up to a specified amount of current at a voltage consistent with the voltage of the system it is feeding. Today, the electronic regulating devices built into most generators allow it to put out electricity in a form which is indistinguishable from the normal, utility-supplied power. Having this power conditioning included in the generator is especially important when feeding sensitive electronics and most small motors during a utility outage. Most generators are rotated or spun by internal combustion engines. These engines can be designed to use one, sometimes two, also known as dual fuel, of several different types of fuels, such as gasoline, diesel fuel, natural gas, or propane. However, the most common generator fuel is diesel fuel. This is because diesel fuel is readily available, easily stored, and not easily ignited. The internal combustion engines used in generators are very similar to the engines used in your car or truck, with just a couple of modifications. Those modifications allow the generator engine to start up very quickly and to run at a fixed speed for many hours or days without undue wear and tear on the engine. Like most internal combustion engines, generator engines are normally started by using a lead-acid storage battery. Almost all generator engines are designed to use what is known as block heaters, which must be connected and kept operational all the time, especially when the generator is in a standby mode, not running. Block heaters are powered by normal line power. If the block heater doesn't run all the time, there is a good possibility, particularly in colder climates, that the engine lifespan would be shortened considerably, as it must come up to full RPMs as soon as it is started. Your typical automobile engine wouldn't last long if, when started cold, it was revved up to a high RPM right away, and this procedure was repeated every few days. To prolong the engine life in a generator, the block heater is used to keep the engine cool and warm, but even more important, this keeps the engine lubricating oil at a free-flowing temperature, allowing it to circulate properly as soon as the engine is started, thereby facilitating quicker starting of the engine and maximizing engine life. 